I, yo, sup? This video is probably coming out at some weird ass time, but regardless, I cannot tell y'all how excited I am right now. I got out of bed to come back to my computer after already working for like 13 hours straight to make this video. I cannot wait because my favorite weapon in the entire game is finally coming to live servers and it did not get nerfed and I cannot believe it because when you see this weapon, it is by far the coolest shit ever and they slapped in two new weapons that I have never seen before. And it, uh, it like makes players want to build new wacky team comps to, to utilize these god tier weapons. I can't wait to talk about all this. I'm actually so excited. I didn't even plan on doing this, but if you like, comment, and subscribe on this video, you follow me on Twitter, and you follow my Twitch that are all linked in the description, I'm going to do a giveaway where I'm going to attempt to pull one of these weapons. I'm gonna drop 150 bucks on your account to hopefully get you something off this banner that you need. I am so excited. I cannot believe it. And the other weapons on this banner are incredibly solid too. So before I continue to lose my shit, let me show you everything on this banner. Okay. So we have the Wolf's Gravestone, the Staff of Homa. What's that? Don't worry. We're going to get into it. Okay. And then we have the Sacrificial Bow, uh, I think this is called like the lion sword. We have witch Sith, and then we have two new weapons called uh, the lithic great sword. And no, 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 this is not the dragon's bane spear. This is the new lithic polearm. So, no, 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 we're not talking about that one yet. We are not talking about staff armor yet. We will get there. Lithic spear and lithic blade have a very similar gimmick and this is a gimmick that we have never seen before and i hope this continues i hope they make you know what let me talk about the gimmick first I, i'm getting ahead of myself i'm so excited okay there's, there's no cap here okay y'all know y'all know i don't fake shit in my videos I, I i i'm over the moon because this is my favorite type of thing to build lithic blade for every character in the party who hails from the way the character who equips this weapon gains a seven percent attack increase and a three percent crit rate increase this effect stacks up to four times at max refine this is going to go to seven percent crit rate and i believe eleven percent attack so 44% additional attack, 28% additional crit rate, no RNG on top of 41% additional attack and 510 additional base attack. This is outrageous. To quote Albert Einstein, this changes everything. I cannot believe it. And it's the exact same effect for Lithic Spear. These items are going to be absolutely crazy there's no charge time there's no wind up it's just there and the effect is outrageous and this will promote people to build new teams that we may have never seen before which gets me excited as an innovator you know i love making things for this game and i apologize if i'm talking a little bit too loudly but i cannot wait to do some sweet ass gimmicks of all the way teams it's going to be nuts now we got some other weapons to talk about before we get into the main event okay we have a sword in the form of lion's roar it is a fine solid sword if you get this you can probably build it on a couple different characters personally i don't like it okay i'm a big fan of the sacrificial series but i know a lot of people use lions roaring and Kaching, and if that's what you want to do you're more than welcome to do it but personally i don't really like lions roar too much but is it bad no not really but the other weapon that i love so much is paul shan where is it sacrificial bow Sacrificial bow will be the other item which you can pretty much use on every single archer in the game. You can use it on fish, you can use it on venti, you can use it on amber, you can use it on diona. It is so good. 
attack, energy recharge. When you hit something with an elemental skill, it has an 80% chance at max refine to reset its own cooldown. It can happen every 16 seconds. This ability is so goddamn good. It's so good for support. It's so good for main DPS. That the sky's the limit for this bow. It's very, very, very good. Um, it's not quite as good as stringless for fish, but the power level is incredibly similar and it's so damn nice. Now, we will talk about Wolf's Gravestone. I'm really excited to talk to you about this weapon because I have firsthand experience with a very, very powerful version of it. Yes, Wolf's Gravestone Refined 4. Now, I will say this right now. I'm gonna be rolling so goddamn much on this banner. And if I get a Wolf Gravestone at Refined 5, great. If I get one after that, dope. I'll build two of them. This weapon is insane. It's crazy on main DPS, and that's always very reassuring. But then, if you want to transition your Bido, let's say you're, you're using a Wolf Grapes on your Bido as a main DPS, if she wants to go support, this weapon is also broken on support. Now, if you have not seen my video, I made a video, look up Tectone Genshin Impact Snapshotting, and I can show you how to abuse an exploit for this weapon, as well as multiple stat buffs in the game, because I love that shit, dude. I love that shit, okay? Wolf's Gravestone, it's amazing. Top tier great sword in the game. Very similar power level to every other five storm in the game, but I love it because it enables snapshotting, which is more team synergy and not uh, solo focus orient, which is what I don't play anymore. I love team swapping, elemental synergy, and elemental uh, affinity explosions and all that shit. This weapon is incredible. A whopping 608 attack, 49.6% extra attack on top of that. Yes, it's crazy, okay? Increased attack by 35% at refined four. On hit, attacks against opponents with less than 30% HP increase all party members' attack by 70% for 12 seconds. Can only occur once every 30 seconds. It is an insane weapon. Now, a little bit of a segue before we get into the main event. You might have noticed that there is a very good weapon that came out today, Primordial Jade Cutter. Now, this is a weapon that has a lot of tank synergy. It does, okay? And this weapon is already best in slot on Kaching, a character that does not scale with HP percent innately. But do you know who does? Who? Zhang Li. Zhang Li already scales with HP percent for his damage. So, you know what would just be a little bit good? What would just be a little bit good? Staff of Homa. A weapon that gives you crit damage. Base attack of 608, 66.2% crit damage and HP percent on it at refine one. This can go up to HP increase by 40% at max refine. Provides an attack bonus based on 0.8% of the wielder's max HP. That's already insane, okay? When the wielder's HP is less than 50%, this attack bonus is increased by additional 1% of max HP. Now, if you were to get a max refine Staff of Homa, it would increase your HP by 40%, and the attack that it would increase uh, your attack by would be 1.6% of your max HP. And then, if you were to be below 50%, you would get an additional 1.8, which means you would take 3.4% of your max HP and put it on your attack. Now, let's say we were to do this on my Zhongli. Okay, so I already have 40,000 HP. You increase that by another 40%. My base HP is about 14K. My math might be a little bit skewed, but I believe if we were to increase my base HP and put it onto my overall stats, that means I would be getting an extra 5.6K HP, okay? Which would bring me to a total of where I'm at right now, 39K HP plus 5,600 is 45,000 HP. Now, let's pull up the good old calculator. So if we were to take 45,000 HP and times this by 0 0.034, so 3.4%, we get an extra 1,530 attack. So that means 
I am going to double my attack stat by just using a spear. Yes, this is going to be outrageous. This is going to be broken. Zhongli is going to be unkillable. He's gonna have more attack than a damage dealer and his numbers are going to be so ridiculous because he can do those numbers with zero chance of dying. And not to mention, there's another character that should be coming out pretty damn soon called Hu Tao. That's gonna be very, very, very good on her because rumor is, and take it with a grain of salt, that she's a polearm user. She scales with HP percent and she scales with attack too. So, this Staff of Homa banner is gonna be real, real, real good. To all those rolling, good luck. If you can't afford to do it yourself, just follow me on my socials. Make sure to subscribe here, follow my Twitter, and uh, join my uh, Twitch. You don't have to join my Discord if you don't want to. And maybe I can hook one of y'all up. Regardless, I cannot wait. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna get to editing this shit. And I have another video coming out in the morning of me obliterating the new Spiral Abyss that I hope that you'll check out if you subscribe, which, you know, 50% of y'all could still do. Regardless, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm over the moon. I can't wait for this banner. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.